Jet engines are among the most powerful and dangerous technologies ever created by humans. Their thrust is incredible, capable of lifting massive aircraft into the sky. But it's important to remember that in order to produce that thrust, jet engines must first suck in a tremendous amount of air from the front. This is what creates the jet engine suction hazard. In many documented incidents, people who were careless or unaware have been sucked into engine intakes, even when the engine was only running at idle. But why does this happen? Jet engines, particularly turbofans, have large front fans designed to pull in air. These fans are powered by turbines spinning at extremely high speeds. For example, the GE90 engine used on the Boeing 777 has a fan nearly 3 meters in diameter and can suck in over 1,300 kilograms of air per second at full throttle. In the case of fighter jets like the F-16, which uses the F-100PW229 engine, the intake airflow speed can exceed 400 kilometers per hour, even just a few meters in front of the engine. The main danger comes from the difference in pressure. When the engine is running, the air pressure inside the intake drops lower than the surrounding air pressure, creating a pressure gradient that forcefully pulls surrounding air inward. If a person or object enters this zone, the air around them is rapidly drawn into the intake producing a force that can be impossible to resist, even for a standing adult. According to safety guidelines from the U.S. Navy and FAA, the hazardous zone in front of a military jet engine can extend up to 4 to 5 meters, depending on the engine's power. Even at idle, the suction is strong enough to pull in an adult standing too close. That's why on runways and military airfields, the red zones in front of engines are strictly enforced and clearly marked. Several real incidents have occurred involving both civilian and military aircraft. In July 2025, a 35-year-old man was sucked into the jet engine of a Volatea aircraft at Orio Alserio Airport in Bergamo, Italy. At the time, the plane was preparing for takeoff to Asturias, Spain. The man had run through the arrivals area on the ground floor and, ignoring security protocols, breached the runway through one of the access gates. One of the most well-known cases occurred on February 14, 1991, aboard the USS Theodore Roosevelt aircraft carrier. A technician got too close to the running engine of an F.A. 18 Hornet and was sucked into the intake. Incredibly, he survived. His body was pulled only as far as the front fan before the pilot immediately shut down the engine. This kind of incident is exactly why aircraft maintenance crews and ground handling personnel receive extensive safety training and must follow strict procedures. One of the most important practices is the clear zone check, which ensures that no person or foreign object is anywhere near the intake before engine startup. Even small items, like a screwdriver, bottle cap, or a jacket, can be sucked into the engine and cause FOD, foreign object damage, which can severely damage engine components and cost millions in repairs. It's not just humans. Birds and other wildlife can also be sucked into engines. That's why major airports around the world implement wildlife hazard management programs using ultrasonic sound systems, lasers, and even trained falcons to keep birds away from active runways. Scientifically, jet engine suction is explained by Bernoulli's principle, which states that when air velocity increases, static pressure decreases. As air rushes into the engine at high speed, the air pressure around the intake drops significantly below atmospheric pressure creating a negative pressure zone that pulls nearby objects toward the fan. If a person enters this zone, the suction force generated can easily overcome the friction of their feet against the ground. Even smaller aircraft, such as the BAE Hawk Trainer Jet, have intakes powerful enough to create dangerous suction zones of 
one to two meters in front of the engine. This means that any jet engine, regardless of size, can be deadly if safety protocols are ignored. The solution to these hazards is not to avoid the technology, but to manage the risks. This is why the aviation industry enforces strict standard operating procedures for all operations near running jet engines. In fact, many military bases now use VR training simulators to help technicians understand safety zones and respond to emergency scenarios around live engines.